Anybody here heard of Professor Claire Graves? Yeah, he's an American who um, he came up with the model of spiral dynamics, which I quite like. It's one that we use quite a bit in terms of understanding where people are at and where businesses are at. And I'll keep it short, because, but basically it's colour-coded. Um, and it, and the, 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 the key bits of this message are, number one, everyone at each level of what I'm going to discuss thinks they're right. And every level has an upside and a downside. And it's the downside of each level that creates the evolution for the next one above it. And there's a concept here called transcend but include, which means as we go up the spiral, it doesn't mean we can't come back down again at the stuff we learned at a previous level. It'll, it's, this will come clear as I go along. <coughs> and he said, the first level was purple. Now purple is tribal. You've survived your first winter, the business is going for the second year, and you're in purple. Now, purple it could be the best job you ever had. Google's probably a bit purple. Apple's probably a bit purple. The stock market, you know where they wear those bright jackets, the bright coats you've seen on telly? The commodity markets? That's very purple. It's very tribal. We're wearing red for casinos. We're wearing this for that. We, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, the stock exchange logo, dictum may impact them. My word is my bond. How tribal is that? I mean, you can't get much more trouble. It's fantastic. Really, really great. The trouble is when you have a crisis, like a stock market. I, did do, I used to be in the stock market. And, and in 1987, we had the stock market crash. And I used to work for a company called Morgan Grenfell Securities. The markets collapsed. And what do we do? Nothing. We stared at the lights coming out because we didn't know what to do. What do you do? There's no leadership in purple. In a crisis, then what do you do? Um, and, so, and that's the downside. And so what happens is the red leader emerges. Now red is, it's my way or the highway. Red is, I will lead us through this problem. I will solve this. Who remembers Gordon Brown? When we had the financial crisis in Europe, um, he suddenly came out. He, he, I, when we first had it, I don't know if you noticed, he looked about five years younger yeah. for, about, for about six weeks. And he said, oh, I've got a crisis. Yes, I can prove who I am. And he came charging out until we got bored of hearing him. And, um, and he lost his franchise. He lost it with us. He lost it with his own party because he was just obsessed about what, and he didn't carry us with him. He didn't carry the tribe with him, did he? And he lost his, and he, and he lost his position. And so red is great in a crisis to a point, but the excesses of red, megalomania, last king of Scotland, are bad. Now, by the way, red thinks red's right. <coughs> purple thinks purple's right. So to curb the excesses of red, we have blue. Blue is about process. It's the police, it's the church, it's the civil service, it's stuff like that. It's stuff that, it's succession planning, it's let's, do I have a seconder for this? You know, it's all that kind of stuff. You know, what, what, you know, what's our checks and balances? Where's our governance? How do we stop the excesses of the city? How do we... Grrr, and that's great. And that creates safety, security, creates boundaries. But it can be stifling. But blue thinks blue's right. And so what appears next is orange. Now, orange is really the savvy version of red. This is the teamwork. This is, this is management buyouts. This is wealth creation. This is Thatcher. This is get rid of the, you know, all these constraints. Let's free up the free, let's, let's release the power of the, uh, of the, um, of uh, human capital, let's, let's create stakeholder value, let's do these great things, fantastic, oh, we're off again, we're off to the races. You know, this is, you know, orange is all about measurement, what does success look like, what are the KPIs, what's the cash, private equity, where I was, that's all about orange. How do we measure it, how do we, let's get rid of them, let's create a team though, let's back, you know, all that kind of narrative. The trouble with orange, and I was there, is there's winners and losers. And eventually, the losers will come back and bite the winners. Controversially, one could talk about immigration on that one, and various things like that. You could talk about imperialism, you could talk about all sorts of political phenomenon where the losers have eventually come back and, and they've um, attacked the winners. Whew, that's a bit scary, I hear you all feel. And so what we then get next is green. I can sense a sigh of relief in the room. Green, oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Green, green is fair trade. Green is, you know, free borders, you know, it's all, it's win-win and all that kind of stuff. So with green, though, there's a concept called mean green. 
you could be too caring and it goes bust. You know, it's not facing the harsh decisions and not, you know, it is closing the ship, uh, uh, ship manufacturing set place because it just is never going to work. It is coal, closing the coal mines because it will never, it's never going to work. It is, the, you know, green wouldn't have that. Green would subsidise everything. It's a nice concept, but it's, it's limited. The point is, each one of these things, they're right. So when we talk about the subject being self-awareness, uh, what... Now, businesses might have a bit of every, everything. A business may be very one thing or the other. But it's sort of seeing where that... And this is called level one thinking. Now, where you guys come in is level two thinking. And that's yellow. So, no, no, no. Basically, at this level, level two thinking. This is the time you see the spiral for the first time. That's the key thing when it comes to self-awareness. You see the spiral for the first time. And you can see where red was good. You can see where purple was good. You can see the shortfalls of blue. You can see where green sometimes is the right thing to have. You know, if you want to be, happy, if you want to be kind, you need a bit of green in the team sometimes. You need, you need it, you know. And it's context uh, specific and it's context appropriate. That's the key thing. And, and when you're uh, level two thinking, you can flex and bend because we need a bit of all of this at certain, t certain times. So when it comes to self-awareness, uh, what we've tried to cover is identity. Uh, self-consciousness as a human being, emotional self-consciousness and our literacy. And now this one is a view of the globe, of the world, of where businesses are. 